Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. Today is February 12th, 2023, and I want to share with you something that was just sent to me and what may be a huge confirmation for February 14th. Uh, Over my last messages, I have been showing you about the location of Comet E3 ZTF. We uh, were following it, and even before the Turkey mega quake, uh, I shared with you that on February 6th, the the uh, the comet was going to be right next to the Goat Star in Capella, and I showed this, and I was uh, watching February 6th and 7th, and then the and then exactly at the time that. The comet was closest to Capella, closest to the Goat Star. I mean, we went through the time I showed you here on the Turkey Turkey Mega Quake. Uh, At the exact moment, the green comet met the Goat Star, Capella, and that was Tubi Shavat, the, the new year of the trees. Okay, so from February 6th and 7th, this Mega Quake then may turn out to be a final seven-day warning to Shavat 24 between February 14th and 16th. Okay, so we have this Turkey mega quake on Tubi Shavat connected to the Goat Star Capella. I showed all of this. And then the next alignment that we have with the uh, with the comet is coming through Taurus. It's going to be connected to Mars, and it's connected to uh, Aldebaran on February fourteenth, fifteenth, and sixteenth. Aldebaran is the eye of the bull, the bull's eye, the twinkling of an eye in Taurus, the bull, and then. Uh, yesterday, last night, I shared this video with you. The final countdown to February 14th and 15th. Okay. In this video, I showed that in 1948, when Israel was reborn, uh, it was May 14th, 1948, that Israel was reborn, but their first government was not established. They did not have their first government meeting, their first Knesset meeting. The Knesset Parliament of Israel convenes for the first time on February 14th, 1949. So what do we have from the rebirth of Israel? I mean, we're talking about the rebirth. Okay, here's a birth process of nine months from May 14th to February 14th, 1949. Okay, here's a birth process of nine months. Then I shared with you that on May 15th, 2022, on Israel's birth anniversary, there was a blood moon, a total lunar eclipse, and there was in the heavens over Hamburg, Germany, uh, written out by airplanes, the final countdown. It was written in the sky on May 15th, 2022, on the same day of this total lunar eclipse. Okay, so we have another sign here in 2022, together with Israel's anniversary, we have written in the sky the final countdown on May 15th, 2022, a nine-month birthing process bringing us to February 14th and 15th, Israel's 74th anniversary of their first government. It's the 70 years of Israel, according to the book of Daniel, from the rebirth of Israel from the order to restore Jerusalem, 70 years. And then we have the four years of the fig tree, the parable of the fig tree from Luke 13. It's the three years that were given to the fig tree and there was one more year given. If you do not find fruit after one more year of pruning and watering and preparing the soil so that this tree can bear fruit, Then after one more year, you will cut it down. So there's the 70 years of Israel plus the four years. It's all connected to the fig tree. Israel was reborn also on Tubi Shavat. 
And last week, as we were watching Tubi Shavat, we had the Turkey earthquake. There's already been 25,000 deaths. They're saying this could go easily to 50 or to 100,000 people or more. They have not yet begun to uh, get people out of the, the, the rubble. There were 5,000 buildings that collapsed. And this is just, it could increase exponentially. So could uh, the earthquake in Turkey on Tubi Shavat, February 6th and 7th, be a seven-day warning to February 14th, 15th, or 16th? And it's the 24th day of Shavat, just as it is written in uh, the book of Zechariah, the 24th day of Shavat is the day that upon the 4 and 20th day of the 11th month, which is the month Sabbat, in the second year of Darius, came the word of the Lord unto Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, the son of Edo the prophet, saying, I saw by night, and behold, a man riding upon a red horse. And he stood among the myrtle trees that were in the bottom, and behind him there were red horses speckled in white. A man riding upon... A red horse okay is this the red horse of the apocalypse on February 14th 15th and 16th as uh, comet E3 ZTF just went past Mars and now it's coming up upon the eye of the bull Aldebaran the red eye of Taurus on the anniversary of Israel February 14th 70 plus four years of the fig tree now, here is the confirmation I am sharing with you. Someone just sent this to me, and I want to uh, let you know. I just shared yesterday, without knowing this information, I shared you yesterday the final countdown to February 14th and 15th. Okay? And all of these connections were made from May 14th, May 15th, a nine-month birthing process bringing us to February 14th and 15th. Now, this is the information that was just sent to me. The song written by Europe, which this final countdown was written over Europe, Hamburg, Germany. The final countdown song written by Europe was released. The final countdown song is a song by Swedish rock band Europe released in 1986. From 1986 to 2023, we have the number 37. Again, 37. Okay, this is, remember, this is Israel's 37th government. Israel's 37th Knesset. The number 37, we have shared about this. Written by lead singer Joey Tempest. Tempest means storm. Joey, as in Joseph. Joey Tempest, the Joseph Storm. Now, when was this song released? What date was this song released? It was released on February 14th, 1986. Without even knowing it, I used all of this other information to bring to you a message called the final countdown to February 14th and 15th, 2023. And without even knowing it, the song, the final countdown was released on February 14th. So is this the way it is going to play out with everything we've been watching with the comet Leading us from Hanukkah, the crowning in Corona Borealis, the whole connection with Israel's new government, the whole connection with Ariel Sharon. Now, as we are following this through where it is right now, we have the connection to the Turkey mega quake exactly as the comet was going by, the Goat Star Capella. I mean, the exact moment, the exact day that the comet was going by the goat star capella and now we're coming up on 
what could be the final countdown to February 14th and 15th, the 74th anniversary of Israel's first government. And this is why we are watching it on the Hebrew calendar. Shavat 24 is the day that Zechariah had his vision of the red horse of the apocalypse. So this is what I wanted to share with you guys. I pray you guys are all blessed. I just wanted to get this information out to you early here. Many things could be happening over the next few days between the Super Bowl today and what we're watching on February 14th, 15th, and 16th. We all need to be ready. We all need to keep our eyes open. God is ready to move very, very soon. Uh, upon the earth and it could be the final judgment the final judgment the beginning of the great tribulation the rapture of the church the final countdown to february 14th and 15th 2023 i pray you guys are blessed this is steve fletcher with the trumpet for my people the sign of his coming revealed <laughs>